To remove the ostomy appliance, you will need water, cotton pads, a small towel, and a waste bag. To ease disposal and to prevent potential soiling, you can attach the top of the waste bag in the band of your underwear right under the stoma. Let's have a look at how to remove your ostomy appliance in the most appropriate way in order to protect your skin. Always remember not to flush any ostomy appliances in the toilet as they might block the sewer system. Before removing the bag, you should empty it to ease removal and reduce bad smells and soiling from the bag when being disposed of. To remove the bag, open the lock ring by pressing the small tab with a fingertip. Hold on to the top of the bag and pull slightly upwards and outwards to remove the bag from the base plate. Do not pull on the lock itself. If reusing the base plate, clean the coupling area using a cotton pad and water. To remove the base plate from your skin, grasp the white removal ear and pull downwards slowly. Apply light pressure on the skin with your free hand as you peel the adhesive downwards. Clean the stoma and surrounding skin with lukewarm tap water and cotton pads or gauze pads. Do not use any soap, methylated spirits or other solvents as they may cause irritation of the skin. Inspect the stoma and the peristomal skin for any problems. Use a mirror if necessary. The peristomal skin should look like the skin on the rest of the body, healthy with no discoloration or signs of irritation. Hairs in the area should be removed to avoid irritation of the hair follicles when the next adhesive is removed. Dry the skin gently and carefully. Any moisture on the skin around the stoma should be dabbed off and the stoma allowed to air dry. The skin must be completely dry before applying the next adhesive. If there is any moisture, the adhesive will not make full contact with the skin. This results in risk of leakage and skin irritation. 